Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and I've done a couple of videos on just the exact same thing, but this one is a little bit different and a, really a little bit easier. Uh, somebody posted this picture on Facebook, and a couple of people have already helped her, but I thought I'd show her or show them. I'm sorry, I didn't recognize who posted it. So take an S, a capital S, and shrink it, make it or expand it to what size you want. The picture was Times New Roman. I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. I like drawing in the center of the page. I'm going to get this out of the way. I'm going to left click, right click, and I'm going to take a box. Doesn't really matter how long the box is. And I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. And this is really an easy one. Let's see what our nudge distance is. Our nudge distance is Come on. Our nudge distance is five inches and this is three, so this will work. I'm going to take the Smart Fill tool. I'm going to fill this in. I'm going to nudge it over. I'm going to nudge it over. Now we can get rid of all this. We don't need it anymore. And you want to do that instead of cutting it in half. The first time I cut it in half, but the S looked really funny. So I'm going to nudge it back. Now I'm going to left click, right click, and just get an outline. And I'm going to take a rectangle about that long. And I'm going to change it to 0.1 inches thick. And I'm going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. I'm going to use the control button to move it up. And it's going to click on that edge. I'm going to hit control D and make a duplicate and hit P and put it in the center of the page. Now I'm using the control button again. To get, I can't get on that edge. There we go. We're split in the middle. Take this whole thing and hit your weld key. Hit your weld. Bring in, and this might be a little bit funny, but it might be a little bit close. You might want to change your rectangle a little bit. And then we're just going to type in Smith, all capital. We're going to change it to Time New Romans. We're going to expand it out a little bit. We're going to hit P and put it in the center of the page. We can make it a little bit bigger. And that's why I like working in the center of the page. And then just take this one and left click, right click. So I'm, I'm putting in a fill and taking away the outline. Right click, left click, no outline. And there is your product. You could do that with any letter and any name. I hope that helped a little bit, and thank you for watching.